All right, in this video, we're going to use uh, the product, the quotient rule, and the power rule for logarithms, and we're going to take a single logarithm, and we're going to break it up into several pieces, and we're just practicing um, our log rules. Now, as you do these, you're going to wonder, well, how do I know when I'm done? And that's kind of a hard question to answer. The more you do of these, kind of the more the patterns you notice, and, and the better you get at knowing when you're done uh, expanding these things. Uh, so we're going to look at our rule log base b of x plus log base b of y using the product rule that break that would condense it down into log base b of x times y. But we're going to go from the right side and we're going to go to the left. So we're going to take uh, a log and we're going to rewrite it as a sum or a difference. So with adding or subtracting. So look at example A here, ln of 5x. Uh, since it's called the product rule, which I have at the top there, that means we need a, a product inside the logarithm. So when I write 5x, the understood operation is 5 times x. So we just write it as ln5 uh, plus lnx. And that's it. We've written it as a sum uh, of, of the two logs of the same base. What if we want to do log base 2 of uh, 3xy? So we can expand this from just breaking up two things into three things. So the 3, the x, and the y are all attached by multiplication. So we can use the uh, product rule to break it up into three pieces. So log base 2 of 3 plus log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y. All right. If we do something a little bit more sophisticated, this time we have log of x squared minus 25. And I don't have any rules that say I can break up a difference inside a log or a sum inside of the log. Um, so again, we can't, fi fact, uh, we can't uh, forget anything, so we're going to need to factor this. Um, and that's the difference of squares. It factors into x minus 5 and x plus 5. And now we have a product. So now we can split it up into the two pieces. Okay. And that's it. Now we've sp split it up into a sum of, of logs there. Okay. Now at the top here we'll write the uh, quotient rule. And then again we're going to be going from the right hand side and we're going to work our way backwards. So maybe it's a little bit easier to see quotient because you're going to look for divides, whereas product you don't even you don't always see the multiplication sign. Um, it's sometimes it's implied when I write five and x next to each other. That's understood as five times x. That's a what's called implied multiplication. All right. So same instructions. We're going to rewrite as a sum or difference of logs or logarithms. log of 57 over 2, we see the division, so we're going to use the quotient rule, and we're going to go and rewrite that as log of 57 minus log 2. ln of 12 over 5x. They see the division, so this is going to be ln of 12 minus ln of 5 minus ln of x. So what I did here is if I realized it was in the denominator, it was going to be subtraction. So I did have two things in the denominator. I had a 5 and an x. So that's where the two subtraction signs came from. Now there's another way we can do this, but you may not like this as much. But this is really what why that happened. Uh, it's going to be ln of 12 minus the, the denominator. So ln of 12 minus ln of 5x, okay? When I split the ln of 5x, the negative sign needs to apply to both of them, okay? So we, we split up the 5x using the product rule, so there it is right there, but this minus sign, that minus sign applies to both of them, so I'd have to distribute that minus sign through and I would get the negative ln5 minus ln x. Okay. 
I said this in the previous video, but we're going to write this. This might be one, a flashcard you want to make, is the square root is the same thing as the one-half power. Okay. So again, uh, the instructions are to rewrite as a sum or difference of logs. Um, so we have log of 3 times square root of x plus 2. So what you need to be careful about here is especially when you're dealing with just log base 10, we just write it as log, is you need to make sure you write it kind of regular size here and not, not, down, not down here because we might think it's the base, but it's not. Okay, so first thing we'll do is we'll rewrite it as, as a sum using the product rule. So it'll be log of 3 plus log of x plus 2 uh, to the 1 half power. And it'd be nice to be able to do, do that little jump so it's less writing for you and me. Because uh, we want to be efficient writing this. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to use that power rule and we're going to bring that exponent of 1 half down and then we're all done. So log 3 plus 1 half log x plus 2. So kind of what I know I'm done is I don't have a product anymore, I don't have a quotient anymore, and I don't have any more powers. So if I still have powers floating around, then I know I need to use uh, the power rule. Or if there's a product still left over, you need to use the product rule. And if there's a quotient, you still need to use the quotient rule to break it all the way down. Okay. Let's do something a little bit more complicated. And uh, and the first thing I see is I have I can reduce a little bit. So I'll write this as ln of. So you see the three and the fifteen. We can reduce by three. I'm going to rewrite this as x plus two to the one half power divided by five x squared. Because we were able to reduce by three, um, we it's going to make the problem a little bit easier. Okay, so that means it comes ln of x plus two to the one half power minus the stuff in the denominator. So ln of five minus ln of x squared. And why I wrote it this way is because I have a product of uh, five and x squared. Okay. Now I don't have any more products and some or products or quotients really anymore, but I do have some power, so I'm going to take that one half and we're going to bring it down. And then I also have that power on the uh, x squared, and that's about as far as we could take it. Oops, then I didn't write it correctly. All right, and that's as far as we can take. There's not much more we can do there. Then uh, we'll look at some other things you might run into. Let's say we have log of 5 to the 3x plus 7. So we're going to use the power rule to bring down the exponent of 3x plus 7. And then uh, one other thing we can do is we can use the distributive property. So it would be 3x times log 5 plus 7 log 5. I think we have one more. Log of 12 to the 3x plus 7, and then we have a multiplication there. Um, and we can break that up into two. That'll be log of 12 plus log of 3x plus 7 times log 5. And what I did there is I, I skipped a step here. Um, I realized I was going to have log to the 3x plus 7. And so what I did is, to save myself some time, I went ahead and used the power rule to bring that down. So that's where that came from. I got log 12, and then we'll go ahead and distribute 3x log 5 plus 7 log 5. And that's probably about as far as I can take it. Now, um, sometimes you'll end up breaking down like the 12. The 12 it can be written as 4 times 3, or it can be written as 2 times 2 times 3. Um, and why I might do that um, is maybe if the base was different. Maybe if that base was 2 or 3, then I would use something like, I would know that 
for instance, log base 2, uh, 2 squared is going to be 2 to what power is 2 squared? 2 to what power is 2 squared? Well, that would have to be 2. Or, for instance, maybe it was base 3, we'd have log base 3 of 3 equals 3 to what power is 3? 3 to the first is 3. So that would be uh, what we might want to do uh, to take it a little bit further um, if the base of the logarithm was related to some of the numbers in, for instance, 12. However, the base 10 for log is not really related to the, the bases inside 12. The bases inside 12 would be 2 and 3. So I'm talking about like the prime numbers. Um, but you will run into problems that, you know, you can take it a little bit further and uh, if you're looking at the back of the book or um, in my math lab, you'll say, well, I didn't quite get this. And, um, you know, you might lose a little bit of points on the, on like the, the, the test or whatever, but um, on, especially if you're using my math lab, they might give you some hints about how to take those a little bit further.